So here, here we have The Golden Ages, and it's by Luigi Ferrini, and the artwork is by Alexander Rocher. I, I hope I pronounced him right. So it's a first print run of Golden Ages, Quinted Games, and uh, as you can see, the box itself, like the art on the box, is okay. You know, it, it's like it feels like a bit like uh, all nostalgic. You know, interesting, cool. All right. So by that box cover, you can still maybe buy the game if you like if you are a fan of crude artwork. Then you go on the back and you see the components here and you feel like okay the map looks cool but what is this ugly thing here okay let's open the box now uh, that's where my complaints start first of all um, the box itself but it's it's okay it's not the thickest one but it's you know it's not the f whatever you know let's say the box is okay now uh, it's one of the player boards and what's that you know cheap um, glossy photo paper really um, although I'm a, okay okay um, I hail team G about you know their cool components and they have uh, this these kinds of boards as well sometimes so Although they have a thicker, I think, a better one. The artwork here is, as you can see, there's a lot of mess here. If you will not understand that right now, probably if you haven't played the game, if you haven't uh, read the rules. But um, I don't know. Doesn't it look like, look ugly? Uh, you may, yeah, you may say it's great artwork. Um, it's it's my own opinion. I will just tell you my own opinion. For me, it's ugly. All right, let it be. Um, the other side, just the black. Then we have lots of components here. Okay, um, the components are not better. You know, uh, the art. I mean, the artwork and all the meeples are like really cheap. Just like some wood, you know, and. And uh, some numbers here on the other side, so whatever, you know, okay, I'm, I'm, f I'm okay with that, probably, not the artwork, I mean, but the money is like that, so uh, the cardboard itself is a standard thickness, like many games, so we have some, some bags here, so we have more colors, as you can see, more money is inside here, so, okay, um, then you have the black pieces here and um, yeah okay some discs some cubes like a German Euro thing you know um, we have a deck box here as you can see there's no insert uh, I don't remember if there was an insert I think there wasn't any insert and if there was an insert then it was that bad that we threw it away so it doesn't really matter so we can see the uh, map tiles uh, what's cool about this um, game is uh, that you can make, although you will discover the world and then you will put new tiles and you will like make a whole new world, you know, alternative worlds, uh, world maps. But uh, with these tiles, you can try to make a world map and you can do that. Uh, we have tried, so all the pieces will make up a realistic world map. And the okay, the tiles are cool, you know, it's really clean, clean art. I like sometimes that the art is clean, it's not too, you know, disturbing uh, your eyes because sometimes you just need to get the information from the board. So let's say this one is cool, okay. Um, that was the Agorat or something like that, I don't remember, but. It's just okay, yeah, ugly. Let's go further. Um, the board itself is not too big, and I like it. It will fit on the table. As you can see, it's the same sort of a just a blue, you know. I think it was made like really cheap blue on the other side, and that's that's where you like problems about the folding, you know, a cure sometimes. Although, with this. 
with a smaller board the folding problems are not the biggest ones you can just do like that a little like warp it in the other side and then it will be okay all the way to it this this will ma make some you know scratches here and it will wear off a little eventually if we'll, if you will get it out on the table really often we do not so we are fine with that so okay board uh, not the thickest one standard thickness well, let's go to the rule book now and I will tell you up front uh, we have bought the um, expansion for I have bought the expansion I couldn't I just the game itself is really cool don't get me wrong I, I like the mechanics of the game I just hate the artwork and because of the artwork we cannot get it to the table although it's really really cool fast-paced civilization game so as you can see this is the um, these are the rules for like uh, base game rules uh, the first print run of uh, Queen games um, it's paper it's really a paper it's like a newspaper um, really um, I don't know it's just because you can see it all feels it's like it just is all it feels all it feels like a like 20th century of board gaming really we are in the golden age of board gaming and you couldn't make a glossy uh, normal rule book all right let's throw this one away um, let's go further uh, now this is for the expansion and the expansion was made by Stronghold Games we bought it from the Essen from Stronghold Games and they had the small upgrade pack I will rant about it later about the upgrade, upgrade, upgrade pack sorry so uh, this has a sort of a a bit glossier paper although really thin you know but whatever and what I don't really like if you have few pages then still make it as a book not like that I don't like that at all make it like a normal book and I need to put it like that and it's too big and it will like ah uh, no it's just come on come on guys you can do that you can do that all right let's just go further we have some other languages okay we have some boards and as you can see okay here is the um, expansion boards for the like cultures whatever was the uh, we haven't played the expansion yet as you can see this is like a sort of the same glossy paper it uh, this like glossy uh, photo papers were made by Stronghold Games. This is their edition and I had a big question mark why because I uh, Appreciate what Stronghold Games do, but with the components They should do better. I just think that but it's only my opinion You can tell I'm wrong in the comments if you like so we have the boards uh, from the um, base game Th these were from the first print run these are like thicker cardboard it's cool why couldn't they make uh, why couldn't strong call games make the same you know if if they um, if they made the expansion then it would be cool if the expansion would like be you know um, the same as the first run or something like or maybe there would be a bigger upgrade pack in the in the upgrade pack you got you didn't get the the thicker board or whatever or like let's say instead of these they could have made all like like that so it would be all the same you know it's like miss print sort of a thing feel and um, to make all the components look the same you know this one make this all these boards throw them away and make it into this one you need to buy the strong call edition of the base game and no come on uh, you can do it better so um, the cards oh my now that where's my complaint uh, coming from so so they made few new cards here you know and um, uh, we have lots of cards here they had few new cards here f from the expansion and the stronghold games made the uh, cards um, they are the same as the diamond cards basically borders borders were on the 
on here borders are on rules borders are everywhere I hate that except of course here you, you, you don't have any borders but although you have but you know it's it's okay if, if they're not black all right um, let's skip that I don't like borders black borders especially okay these are linen finish these are linen finish is a good sign okay the first print run was just a like a glossy sort of a cardboard paper so it's okay so um, we got a few new cards and we bought the and that's the thing I had to buy the upgrade pack uh, to upgrade my um, Quinnet Games first edition uh, and make it like uh, make make it compatible with the Stronghold expansion edition. So these are all like, um, and as you can see, the artwork as well. Well, you know, like okay, okay, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people like that artwork. Okay, this one, for example, let's say, okay, yeah, cool. Um, what's that? Um, mm, no. Uh, <laughs> ah. You know, it's whatever, okay. But the thing is, uh, and they managed to uh, they managed to uh, like um, get all new cards for the first print run, so you can change the old cards into new cards that have a linen finish. But they left few cards. Uh, but the thing is that they. Um, they changed the, the art or the graphics a little bit on the cards, so they changed that in the Stronghold edition. So, so it was like with the upgrade pack, you get the like changed graphics cards, and they are linen finish as well. And there are some cards in the base game that were not changed at all with the upgrade pack. I don't know why. Uh, okay, I, I can understand that they didn't change any graphics on these cards, and the cards are the same, but. If these cards are linen finish and these cards are glossy, come on, you like, I know it's a minor thing, but still, you know, it's like components should be all the same, the cards should be all the same. If you have a linen finish cards here, then this should be linen cards as well, but they didn't give them in the upgrade pack. And that's why I rant about, it's the other bad thing, as you can see, okay, and of course let's go through the artwork here, oh, oh my, oh, whew. oh, okay. But that's me, that's me. I don't like that. So, basically, it's a whole thing, you see. They got some of the small cards that have the linen finish. So why they couldn't they change all the cards? All the cards. I cannot understand that. So, uh, Golden Ages. It's a really cool game. Probably the expansion will make it even cooler. But, uh, regarding components, regarding artwork, it's ugly. It's um, regarding components. It's okay. Let's say it's okay with some minor things that like make me angry. So overall, I don't know if if you can look if you don't like the artwork as well and you don't like how they manage the components. So if you still can look through that and try to play the game, then play it. You will probably like it. But it's really hard to get it on the table because of that artwork, because of the components, how it all feels, you know, it feels cheap, it feels like, no, they, they don't appreciate what, what players, like, they don't appreciate us as players, us as customers, you know, that's what it feels, and I don't like that, and we'll still play this game, we'll play this, we will play this game with the expansion, uh, we, sh we need to try the expansion, we will not sell it before that, but it's probably going to go out of our collection, be sold, because it's just too hard to get it on the table because of the artwork. I wished that Stronghold Games would take it, would take this game and change. I was When, I, when it was announced, I was like, oh, I would love that they changed all that artwork, you know? But they didn't change anything, so I, I was disappointed. I was like, it was a big disappointment. They could have made this artwork much better. So that's it. Uh, here you go. Golden Ages. 
leave your comments and uh, you can uh, shout at me do the angry comments etc or whatever you want so I'll see you next time and please share and subscribe to our channel really appreciate that and thanks for watching bye bye